I did mention, so this is actually it, like, she's gone in and taken a bit of everyone's individually ordered donut, which, you know what, that is the capital offence here. I would be losing my shit. Welcome to Mamwa. I'm Gordy Camp, your host, and this is the podcast that includes you into my most famous song lyrics. He's a middle-aged man with an attitude, and he didn't even have one till he met you. That's right, I'm the middle-aged man, and my attitude will chatter us through all things that I'm passionate about, from spirituality, the gym and fitness, food, traveling, and music or movies. Quick disclaimer, this list is not exhaustive. So you can get on or you can get off and join us for the episodes that you like the sounds of. Dip in or dip out, as long as you keep dipping. Either way, we've got something to say and we're going in three, two... Hello everybody and welcome to today's episode of Mamwa. So today you have me unfiltered and unscripted. Uh, It's a bit of an odd one today, but I just really wanted to just talk... Um, And today is going to discuss some of the, I'm going to call it violence that people choose when they wake up in the morning. They just can't wake up and be nice. They have to upset everyone else in the world at the same time (laughs) because they have to wake up. Everyone else has to wake up. Um, So basically, there's been a post on social media and I've, I've got some slack on this. I didn't post it, but I responded to it and it's all just been blown well out of proportion. So basically we start by, I'll tell you what the post is and then we'll kind of delve into this a little bit further. So the post is titled as so. This woman at work took a slice out of several donuts to sample them before anyone else could even get one. And I was like, is this kind of the done thing now? Like, I don't know how I would feel if I came into work and uh, somebody says, oh, there's donuts, go and, go and help yourself. And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm so excited by this. Run up, open the donut box. And nearly every single one of them has got the equivalent to a bite taken out of it. It wouldn't have been a bite. They're cut. Um, but it's not the point. Like, I can't choose one now because, like, most of them have got bits out of them. So what am I supposed to do? Basically, there's 12 donuts, right? And I'm going to count now. One, two, three, four, five of the donuts. So it's not even half, but it's enough to upset me. (laughs) Five of the donuts have got nearly a quarter removed from them. Like, she's cut. A quarter of the donut out of the donut. So now five out of those 12 donuts I can't pick because I won't get a whole donut. But good for my diet, but also not good. These are the donuts in the box, firstly, right? I'm going to go through them one by one and you can just picture this in your gorgeous little minds. So the first one, standard donut, dough, round, holes in the middle, and this one's covered in sugar. Nice, plain, gorgeous looking donut. Second one, pink icing, sprinkles on top. These ones are normally quite dry on the inside. I can't ima- I can't think by looking at this that I've ever had one that hasn't been dry on the inside. Third one looks completely vicious. Bright green, like toxic looking green, with uh, what I will imagine to be mint flakes and chocolate flakes on top. The fourth one is doesn't even have a hole in the middle it's like a full donut covered in dark chocolate with colored sprinkles on top i think this one looks quite juicy i imagine it's got lots of melted chocolate on the inside this is probably the one that i would go for and it doesn't have a cut out of it so uh, chances are i'd probably be okay but we're going to keep going fifth one it looks dry as somebody that like gandhi's flip-flop it looks as dry as hell. Uh, there isn't a hole in the middle. It seems to have like a lump of chocolate in the center of it. Looks really dry. Doesn't look very appetizing at all. Doesn't have a cut out of it. Probably wouldn't have it anyway. So it kind of comes away from the, the, the section that I can't have. White chocolate. Hole in the middle. Looks like a dark dough underneath because the chocolate isn't even that thick. 
Probably wouldn't take it because if I want it, I want lots of chocolate on it. Uh, seventh one is just looks like a rainbow of nonsense. To be fair, just sprinkles everywhere with orange icing. <coughs> Vile. Um, and this eighth one is most definitely coffee. Ugh. Just going to make me vomit. Hate coffee. Can't stand it. Um, I'm just looking out for the walnuts now because if it had walnuts on it, that would tell me. Uh, ninth one is cute. It's like a blue cookie monster um, on a donut. It's got two eyes. This is probably why she didn't cut into it because this woman felt bloody guilty um, already. And she was like, oh no, this one looks too real. I can't, I can't cut it. I can't cut it open. Now I feel guilty because I'm eating something that's got eyes on it if I pick this one. Uh, and then next one looks more like a s cinnamon roll with a hole in the middle. This one does have a cut out of it. Um, and it's kind of all gooey and gross. Um, why, why would she want that in the first place? Like, rotten. Eleventh one, rainbow. Uh, looks like this, the hole in the middle has been filled with like pink melted chocolate or pink goo. Um, and then this one at the end, I don't even know what this is. It looks like pistachio. Um, it looks completely disgusting with a dark dough, what I would think. So out of the 12, there's your 12 donuts and five of them have been cut into. Now, I just don't know how I feel about somebody saying go and have help yourself to the donuts and then get into the box and they've got this massive cut out of them. I feel a bit upset that somebody would do that. I personally wouldn't do shit like that. I find it offensive. I think you're doing five people out of the opportunity to choose a favorite donut, if you ask me. Some people online are responding to this and saying, well, I would do that because I want to try a bit of everything. Well, selfish.com, I just, how, what about everyone else? What about everyone else in her office? I would be I'd be losing the plot. Um and I don't really talk about going into my office, but when I'm in the office, there's like sometimes food in the kitchen that says help you help yourself and they've been separated into bags at like one each or whatever. And I, I love that because if I'm going to choose a bit of food that somebody else has offered, I don't want to talk to you about it. I don't want to say, oh, I tried this one. What did you think? Oh, did you try that one? Oh, yeah, that one was nice as well. I don't really give a shit. I don't want to talk to you about food. I like food. I eat food. And I get on with my life. That's it, right? I responded to this post. And all I said was, this person woke up and chose violence, which... To be honest, I am offend. I find this offensive that you would take five different bits out of all these donuts. That's just me. Not the same for everyone else. Um, so basically, everyone seems to be losing their shit against me now. And I'm going to change some names here because um, I don't want to highlight anyone online. Different if you find it. Nothing to do with me. Um, and some people know this phrase, like, oh, you chose violence, you woke up and chose violence. Not everyone seems to have heard that phrase ever in their life. Um, so somebody says, oh, this is gold, uh, and they find that comment really funny. Um, some people say, people who don't want to eat a whole donut, there's more to go around that way, and there's it's more fair. Well, maybe it's not about fairness. Maybe it's about choose your favorite donut. And then if your favourite donut's gone, then like more chance that somebody else can get one. Um, I don't know. So then you've got the they chose to hoard all the violence for themselves by taking a bit of everything. And now this one's got a really upset crying emoji because it's obviously not just me who's offended by this kind of response to the donuts. Um, and everyone's like, well, not everyone, but some people are like, most people prefer this option. I'm sorry, how? Does any of you, or do any of you, understand what's happened here? Like, do any of you take a bit of all the donuts? And if you do, you need to explain this to me because it's 
winding me up. It's really winding me up. Um, so then we can't carry on, and then there's some responses to other people now. It's like, I believe that's the capital offence. It's even more offensive than the offence to, to agree with what this woman's done. Um, and then we go, uh, oh, like somebody came back at me, by the way, and said, I do not think this deserves violence. I don't know about you. I didn't say she deserves violence. Jesus Christ, poor Karen. She took a couple of bites of donuts and I've, I've kind of violenced um, her. I don't, I'm, <laughs> somebody did back me up here and said, uh, he said she chose violence, the donut slicer, not that she deserved violence. Like, obviously I wouldn't wish violence on you just for trying a couple of donuts. <laughs> Who do you think I am? Hitler? Um, and somebody actually referenced Urban Dictionary. I didn't know Urban Dictionary was a thing for that whole she chose violence thing. Um, but some people are on my side with the whole she woke up and chose violence. Um, and then all these people who just love to sample donuts. Well, there's only 12. She, she, I just, do you ever feel like if you've only got bits, then you, the further along the day you get, if you get to the box and you're like I'm getting all the leftovers because there's just loads of little sample no no I'm already queasy about talking to people about random food without actually having bits of food left no not having any of it uh, somebody else loves the idea and then this is how I like to share donuts and everyone gets to try them all shut up no we're not doing that the whole story is that everyone ordered one specific donut for themselves. So this was not okay. I'm with you. I don't believe it was okay. Um, and I assume most are going by the screenshots of the Reddit post where this original started. Um, and they'd mentioned, so this is actually it. Like, she's gone in and taken a bit of everyone's individually ordered donut, which, you know what, that is the capital offense here. I would be losing my shit. And the only time this is okay is with family and co-workers. Maybe family, but no, not dealing with co-workers. If I want a donut, I want a whole donut. Step the fuck away from my donut box, thanks very much. Um, stop being like a greedy child. Yes! Now that is the perfect explanation of this. She what like, it's like, kind of like, it's that whole selfish thing, isn't it? Like, it's not just a greedy child, it's like, Subconsciously, does this person know how upsetting it can be for other people who don't want to touch loads of different donuts or try loads of different donuts? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm with that. Stop acting like a greedy child. Um, or if that's what it was meant to be like, all the donuts would have been cut already. It's not for you to go and start cutting all those fucking donuts, right? How have I managed to talk about donuts for 10 minutes? This is getting ridiculous. Um, so, somebody else thinks she's really smart. Or take all the donut holes instead of taking bits out of the donuts. Um, we do this all the time. We share the flavors. That's fine if you've all decided to share the flavors. Just stay away from my donut. I'm not having it. Um, and you know what? Here's, a, here's another conversation then. So, eating with coworkers, like, I'm a bit queasy even going for lunch or having a meet up with coworkers when I have to eat in front of people. Family's different, or like when you're in a relationship, it's different. But I hate eating in front of people, especially people I work with. I just find it really awkward. Don't know why, I just do. Um, some were uncut. And that, yeah, so why would you want a donut that's been touched by loads of people who've been cutting into stuff? No. Step away with the knife. Get that away from me. Um, we do this with our Hertz donuts. What's Hertz donuts? I've never heard of those. Um, <laughs> there's a societal line. Those that immediately assume these are cut are a bunch of different ones for yourself and everyone else will then do it. And that assumes that the donuts are meant to be eaten individually. So to get yours, they get theirs. And traditionally, as a donut person, I've been thinking I have to change that perspective for um, four different donut chunks. I don't think I'd ever do that. 
Like, I'll pick the donut I want. I don't want a bit of everyone else's donut. I'm, I'm funny like that. I don't want your donut. I want my donut. And that's where I'm going with this. Um, and th there's quite a lot of people who are used to doing this at work. And that's fine if you've all decided on it. But if I wanted a donut, I'd have a donut. I don't want a bit of a donut. And then a bit of some another donut. And then you end up like four or five different tastes in your mouth. No. That's like, especially if it's a vomit looking thing. File. Um, I like this and give them some of everything to everyone. No. No, we're not doing that today. This should be an option. Variety boxes. There you go. If it was meant to be like that, you'd get a variety box. And then you could take a bit of what you need. Ah, oh, see, it doesn't really go any further than this. It's just like, yes, go for a mixed pack. Cookies. Right, so cookies. Let's say you've got... That was a good one. When we were kids, my little brother would take a bite out of every do donut that he could claim. This is an adult version of this, basically. Um, and then no one else could take them. So I ate around the part that he'd bitten off and put that part back in the box. See, it becomes a game, especially at work. If you don't like them doing it and you start to play that kind of game, it just gets, it gets vicious. And then it becomes vile. And then you end up with like work wars and all that kind of shit. And then cookies, like I was going to say, right, cookies. You can get loads of different flavors of the cookie, but you don't just take a bite out of a cookie. You just take a cookie. So why should, why is that not the same for donuts? That was my discussion for today, right? I'm not going to chat anymore about donuts, but I might just chat a bit more about eating with people. Because, no, do you know what? It's making me crazy. I don't even want to chat about eating with people. And I'm not going to talk about my office anymore. That's about it. That is about it. Yes. Thanks for listening. That was a quick 15-minute discussion on me and donuts. Everyone online is coming at me. That's all I've got to say on this episode. Quick 15 minutes. Leave me alone. I don't like donut pickers. I'd rather you picking your nose and eating it than picking a donut and another donut and another donut. How many times can I say donut in 15 minutes? Ladies and gents, thank you so much for tuning in today for this brief but bizarre discussion on donuts. Um, it's been a blessing. Have a great day. I didn't really make much of an effort. It's just a quick pizzazzy, bizarre episode for you. Have a good day. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Gordy Camp TV, and come get me on Instagram and threads at Gordy Camp. Don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, and I will see you next week. Thanks, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.